Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I am Johnny B. But together we are... Modelling for Advantage. Advantage. Again. What you got today then, John? Mate, hey, you got new presents. So another this, box. This another is box. the missing link, right? The missing link? Do you link? remember when we did the 40k new boxes? We did the 40k new out? boxes, yeah. Uh, I can't remember the names, if you could refresh uh, my Recruit memory. and Elite. Recru uh, no, Recruit and Command. Command. That's and right. that was the top and the bottom. Yeah. And this is the middle one. This is the middle tier. So this is just really um, a potentially a cheap way of getting some more miniatures. Yeah. Really. Don't need any more scenery or whatever. You can have a look at this one. Plenty good. And ju just for completeness, we needed some more miniatures. So we got them. So mate, according to this, 72 page Elite Manual. Archeo Vault Terrain Piece, more on that later. Oof. Two reference sheets, play mat, 10 six-sided dice, two range rulers, and Space Marines transfer sheet. Yeah, yeah! Oh, and it also includes 27 Citadel miniatures. 27? Primaris Captain, three Outriders, and five Assault Intercessors. Necrons get an Overlord, ten Warriors, three Destroyers, one Plasma Sight, and three Canoptic Scarab Swarms. So there's in nothing there. in here we haven't seen. No, before. it's just a slightly different yeah. configuration. So of I think the it's the same kind of width as the Command Edition, but a different depth. It's quite depth. shallow. It is a shallow box. one, shallow but, building. You know, on on first first glance, a lot of plastic in there, mate. It's all right. Get your white sided dice. White sided dice, they're all right, they're serviceable yeah. little dice. Not bad. You get your bag of bases. If you've not had one of these kits, um, with these monopose miniatures that you get in here, they're all plugged at the feet. Yes. And um, I think that's because of the, the intention that you could push fit these. Yes. So they've got push fit bases. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah? Yeah, they have, haven't they? Yeah, I remember yeah. now having a chop. And they've even got little the hexagons, so you can only have them like at, at this Specific angle or at that angle onto the base, or my foot hanging off the edge. Or somehow put it in the okay. wrong way and, yeah. Yeah, so you get a big crappy really bag of bases. Loads of bases, jobs are good. Yeah. Same uh, stuff as before. First one I'm picking out, sir, is these wonderful Primaris biker dudes. They're called the Outriders, I believe. Primaris Outriders. Um, I am okay. in the process of gluing some of these together. Are you? Does that mean that they may get to see a little video while this is running of you putting this together? No, most probably not. No, most probably not. It might have happened. It might it not might have happened. Because um, we, we'd already had another yes, version of this, so he's, he's got that. Um, right. Well, what, any, what, what can you say about Nothing these bikes then? really that I noticed. That they're monopose. They fit together right. Not much of an issue. Um, it is interesting. The exhaust are like... They, they just flap around, or they don't flap around, but do you know what I mean? They're not actually attached to anything? Yeah, so in terms of, if you've had the previous Space Marine biker kit, this is really, really different. It's not like there's a bike and there's a rider. So if you can see on here, the guy's leg is part yeah. of the mold, yeah. the leg and the exhaust. So you can't really have these anything other than, presumably, you might have some movement in the arms. But Even pretty then, much I'm the rider sure is fairly fixed in where he is. is. I'm, I'm sure there are conversions out there online. Oh, of and course. And there's some of course. pretty decent ones, but yeah. It's not an issue. They're all right kits. As a Space Wolf player, I like to have access to as many different Space Marine sprues as possible mm -hmm. to get a variety of heads. Yes. Because I need the bare heads. Yes. And, and just, you know, it, it's a small thing, but every new kit comes with it a slightly, slightly different, different head because nobody wears a helmet in my arm. You only get one in here. You only get one You only get it one, one better. Is, is it baldy for a sergeant? He's a baldy, mate. Mate, there's something about a bald sergeant. Baldy, and he's like, pro yeah. So these three guys Grimacing. come with uh, chainsaws. We'll have a look at some stats yeah. of these later. Oosh. All right, that's that. Now, in terms of the value of this box, we'll talk about later. This is a single sprue. Th this is a kit. is like thirty quid. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> for these three. Really? Exactly. Do I we know? Well, we I've don't know looked. that for sure yet. But a big part of the value in this kit is going to be those bikes. Outriders for the win. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, moving on, and I guess staying in the marine theme. Staying in the marine theme. You get yeah. five of your assault intercessors. So you get these in all of the kits. All of them. All Staple of diet, the mate. Staple diet. So again, have we got any dudes on here with? Uh, again, there's not much to talk there's about. Not I'm much sure to everyone's talk about. Everyone's them seen them. And, and, well, we got one go. shouty marine. You have a shouty marine. A shouty marine. So um, he's not, and he's got a mohawk. As I mentioned before, he could be a he could be a space wolf. Yeah. One of these can be. Um, you can change it to be a normal dude or a sergeant. 
Do you yeah. know what I mean? You get yeah. the extra arms. And does the to... sergeant come with a plasma pistol? Yes. Option. All right, so there's is some options in there. Yeah, it is. But it is primary. With... So how did you find the poses? Poses. They're quite, I mean, they're quite like running, aren't they? You get 10 in a lot of them, and they are running. So if you're like me and you put them on clear bases, which yeah. nobody does other than me, yeah. um, it's quite difficult to get them to stay on there. Oh, because <laughs> you have not... fallen off because there's such a s right. small so they're being pegged in the feet. It's so is... dynamic. And they're yeah. all sprinting and they're just on their tiptoes leaning yeah. forward. And they're doing that space marine run, aren't proper, they? With the proper, like, the arms are like, you, you know, draw me a stick man you. running. <laughs> That's... Again, I, I'm, there is a little bit of wiggle room, I'm sure, yeah. but, you know, we're going to see multi parts of these pretty soon. Yeah, sure. yeah. So I think I've said before on this, the, the Space Wolf and Player in me is, is bothered, but the arms have got the shoulder pad sculpted in. Yes. And I use sculpted shoulder pads throughout my space. Yeah, so it's difficult for you to go so back. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on that. Probably just use completely different arms, unfortunately. Just wait. Just wait, wait for the multi-parts yeah. and then you're, you're a good um, There's one more Marine in here. Right, this is a double and quite a good transition. Um, <laughs> you get oh, the, yeah, look at that. You what? get the, this one's the captain, isn't it? In this, He's is the it? captain. Yes, yes with, in here. With brother Dave on the shield, which is cool. Yeah. Still a cool model. Uh, oh, okay. brother Dave nailed to the Dave? shield. Yeah, yeah, mate. Is that this one? Yes, it is. Is this that one. they want brother enough of Dave. him left to put in a dreadnought? But it's okay. It's okay. We'll stay. I like you. the fact that he's separate. I mean, but the shield's going to look weird if you don't put that on. Because uh, there's half of him still, yeah, like, half his, his, his shoulder and a bit of his arm. Again, this is stuff you've all seen by now, surely. Yeah, but but I you like, get it in there. It's it's Warhammer like going up to eleven, isn't it? Because they have skull, skull. motifs everywhere. They really no, no, we've gone that, for the though. whole skeleton They've now. They truly embraced that. Is it is relic of the chapter? Yeah, mate. He's nailed to my you shield. Do, you can have him stamping on a, a Necron dude as well if you want. If oh, you really, there's really a little bit of a you. dead Necron. Um, although I don't. Well, I say stamping on it. It's actually just a bit of base. Uh, Gump, he's not decoration, he isn't actually yeah. standing. Yeah, so here's here's one of the first things that's a problem for Johnny B potentially is that this is on a sculpted base, but interestingly, you it's not a it's full a separate bit. Yeah, it's not a full sculpted base, it's a sculpted base that sits on a regular base, yeah, which is why it's so shallow. And then it's got this extra layer, so it looks like you've got options. I'm not sure if that's an extra layer, or no, as you can see you can have that separate because that looks exactly the same as the piece that's already molded in but oh. separate. So if you want to you can have the full molded base like that or if I can get an angle on it this is exactly the same design as it looks like to me anyways as yeah. this central piece. So yeah. you can have slightly different if you've got two of them. If you've got two of them or you, you've got a yeah. different basing system and you want to have your yeah. your current flocking system on there. But yeah, yeah. it's all right. So with these with these guys, it wasn't so much with the assault in, the assault intercessors. They're dynamic poses, but they're still quite plain looking, like a lot of the yes. a lot of the um, primary stuff. And that, that's a deliberate design choice. Yeah. Well, they started to bring it with this set, like with the blade guard. Is they're much more ornate. The style that we've become a bit more accustomed to yeah, with veteran marines. And, 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 and these guys are big on on on. Um, well, groin pelmets, aren't they? Very much so. Vanity pelmets. Like yeah. They like a bit of that, yeah. A bit of robes around the groin. Robes. So this guy's got a, he's, he's wearing a skirt, basically. Various fetishes of the Imperium. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a high cut skirt. What do you call it, where they're like all the way up to the thigh either side? Oh, no, so it looks like a proper tabard. He's got a bit on his stomach there as well. Has he? Yeah. Is it, it's going all the way through? Yeah, it's going all the way through. It's just a split dress then, mate. Yeah, split dress. Split dress, that's what it is. Beautiful, like, um, beautiful. Was it Liz Hurley? You would have with the pins in the side. Quite possibly, possibly. Yes. That's what we know about fashion, mate. A female. <laughs> yeah, there was a woman wearing a split dress once. So you get a captain. You and you get them all different heads. heads. Yeah, you get three different heads. One's got like an open, what are they called, Sally helmet. I don't know. Oh, like yeah, yeah, up, yeah. It's got a uh, visor. I think that's the bassinet. I think, bassinet. Is a bit, I think you yeah. You get that, you get a more regular sort of standard. Yeah. So Dufa, this that type thing. of helmet we saw on the champion previously in the command squad. Yes. That, yes, that helmet very is similar quite cool. with that. I don't know whether Templars have... No, they, Grey Knights have that kind of helmet, Grey Knights and Templars, to be fair. Yeah, they, you are right, yeah. They have that, that kind of over-the-nose armour. A, a, a do for big going up there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And another bald... They've got to have a bald head option. Um, and this guy is in a bit more... I think he's a mixture of Gravis and just standard Mark X armour, isn't he? Yeah, He looks a lot so. bulkier, sure he's got he the is. bigger shoulder pads. I'm not sure what he is. But he's, he's really... Wise. What troubles me with this piece is painting it. 
There's a lot of gum. There's mate. so there's, much decoration on here. There's so much. You know, and, and, I, and I understand that it's nice to have beautiful miniatures. But look at a model like that and I think, I want to paint it, it blue. It can be quite daunting to look at that. Yeah. Um, I, especially I, for newer hobbyists. Yeah, yeah. And veterans alike, to be and fair. Veterans there's alike. a lot going on. I'm, I find it genuinely off-putting to use this commander model yeah. from the amount of work that goes into painting it. Yeah. As, a, as a gamer, you know, me, I wash, dry brush and put Agrax on it. Good. Yeah, in the case of my Space Wolves, there's some technical paints instead of dry brushing, which is a mistake I made. Well, you know them technical dry paints? Yes. I'd use a couple of them to get quite a chalky effect, but I'm, I'm now 100 I'm figures and I'm committed that. to that. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a time consuming well, process. On the plus side, a transitional note there with your yeah. preferred style of painting. Yeah. Why not choose Necrons <laughs> instead? Necrons! Because we got Necrons here as well as part of a joint sprue. And, and I was a big fan of Idik Beer's channel. I like, love me a Necron. He he is quite fond of Necrons. He's quite the Necron quite aficionado. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's, had, he's done millions of videos since the Which new edition. Cool. So this is the Overlord. Oh, I'm the Overlord. The Overlord. He's got his big. He's got his big uh, way of his stick and so forth. So what I like about this one, the one in the Recruit edition, the Royal Warden. He had. He was a tricky. He was dude. a bit more tricky to paint and put together because these kind of robed pieces. They were sort of fanned out I mean, and they're quite fragile it's and it's like I've got a pin in there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And but it's George, we, we had an issue, we had an some issue with his, struts on his yes. some pistons so underneath the, his this, chin. Yeah. And this dude this doesn't seem to have that. Guy, he does if you look at the back the socket where his head goes into. Oh, because they have like a there. cup at the back of the head, and then you shove the face at, on at top least, of it. At least that's sort of molded into the neck. Yeah. Yeah. Not absolutely. Freestanding out. And even this guy's scythe has actually got pegged for the base. Oh yeah, that's clever. Yeah, so this is really intended to go to bed very much the one way. The one way. But it's a nice looking model. What other Necrons do we get then? Other Necrons, of course, you can't go to war as a Necron without your legions of warriors. Legions of warriors. So you get ten warriors, you get both gun options, and you get three Scarab Swarms. Oosh! This is a, this is a cracking sprue this, John, I've so got right. to say. In terms of... In you get optional aesthetic looks, this, different heads, you've got matched yeah. up heads, you've got normal Absolutely. heads. Absolutely. Now, uh, if you haven't seen one of the other videos, you need to be a bit careful with this, is that the uh, the guns and the arms will appear that they go together, like any left arm will go with any right arm. Right. Because of the way that the guns, the, the right arm is on the handle and it sockets into the gun. But then when you come to fit it into the body, if you haven't chosen the right one, it might be at the wrong angle. Oh, really? And they, they he's like, Wah! he's got a dislocated shoulder. A bit of super glue and a bit of pressure. Too, too subtle to notice until you've gone too far. Yeah, yeah, but definitely don't clip all these arms and off the sprue right. and then try and Keep fit them. In them. The I would suggest you quite carefully. Probably if you're building a whole Necron army and doing 60 of these, you'll get used to which one goes yeah. with which. Yeah, true. But the, the bodies, they're all... It's the same system. There's like a little ball and socket joint here, then the diamond on the arm plugs that, into that, that it plugs into. But they're not all at the same angle. Although they Just look it, there's slight different, differences. Which is enough but to as make the them body is slightly articulated. And that's the beauty of more monopose stuff is I like monopose miniatures until you run out of monopose miniatures. Do you know what I mean? Right. Once you've got if there's only seven guys in monopose and you've got a ten man squad. <laughs> then you've got like a really dynamic, identical dude. <laughs> That's when I run into a problem. Sometimes unavoidable, yeah. I think. I don't but think this, this is a mix and match. It's a staple brand. diet now, I think, of the Necron Force. Uh, yes, and that's a real improvement for them because the they were to be they quite, used for before. Quite good. Last, Last thing then. Piece. These are cool. Scorpec Destroyers. Eesh. This sprue's not doing them justice because these are quite big, big, feisty, yeah. choppy they're, they're models. Chunky dudes. Yeah, and I, I, with their double handed like gleads. Yeah, uh, well, it's not double-handed, it double it's, it's twin, or triple, isn't it? Let's I have think a look it's an option Oh, it? no, no, they hold them like a quarter staff. Mm. And one of them's got a... One of them's got a two-hander, and two of them have got oh, okay. paired blades, I yep. think. That's, that, is that how it is? Shall I count them? Yeah, look, this one here. I see. There's one of them got like a two-hander. I, I looked at the two-hander first and assumed that obviously the, others, the whole squad would be the same. One, but two. It's not slightly different. 
three, four. I'm seeing five blades. Yeah, all right, we've got this. We got it. We got it. We've not built this now, one yet. We've not built this, and we've not filled them on the tabletop. We have not. So. And you also get a little gribbly with these. A plasma site, I think he's called. Yes, you do. Who's, who's some kind of support character? Some which bits here. we're now going to go beneath the layer and have a look. And have a look. <gasps> so we got under here. So mine is actually quite well preserved. But this, as a as a as a box topper, so these. The news you used to get better bits of art than this normally, but they usually get damaged because their is, job is to is protect the paper and stuff from the sprue scratches. You can see a few bits in there, but yeah, some of them like the so, other ones, Prophecy of the Wolf and yeah, they did a the, nice, nice bit of the, bit of the color. Artwork. I mean, that that is part of the commission art. It's just a bit yes. dark for my for my, my taste. So, so here we go, John. Look, bases. Yeah, do you want to show them the bits? I'll crack open the paper. Bases? More oh, bases. I should have brought a knife up like a oh, rookie. Boo. I haven't got any nails boo. either. Well, other things, let me try and uh, delay them. <laughs> let me try I'll show them the interesting. You Can I use two this? Measuring oh, measuring rulers. The ruler's got, got sharpish. Um, I mean. Did you use one to get in? You yeah, broke it. Like a pro. These are cool. These have got Necron design on, and yeah. They, they're cool. Thank you. Thank you, Games Workshop. Mm -hmm. So, so paper. You, you did the, the paper last. You just check the other bit. Just, well, just the other completeness. bit is the mat that you need to iron. Paper play mat. I, I don't need this, but for completeness, table. gets you on a table. Same with dice. Same with rulers. If you want, this is a kit for somebody starting war That's gaming. That's the idea. It literally says on the box, start here. This is the way to start. It's not the way to start the edition if you're an existing player. Oh well, yeah. But that's what the Indomitus box was for. Fact. If you know you want Space Marines for 9th edition or Necrons, buy this box. This is, I don't know how to play Warhammer. I want to get into the hobby. I want to get into a hobby. Which is and cool. Paper play mat is a quality, you know, compared to not having one. Yeah. And then your favourite bit, John. I love this. Size of it. That's <laughs> beast of a decal sheet. Um, yeah, so really often good. you just get this teeny weeny decal sheet. Yeah, this has got quite a bit of uh, it's got a lot variation of on. on there. You've and it's the, and it's it's the big four, isn't it? It's the big four, Space mate. Space Wolves, Dark Ultramarines, Angels. Dark Angels, Blood Angels. Oosh. Boom. No salamanders. And some of them are quite cool. I like some that. Some of them are quite cool. Go on then. I'm not going to open that. I'm not going to try it. You're not going to try it up. That's it. Do it with a ruler. Right. Just so you get idiot there. sheets, mate. Which are nice. They came in handy when we did those other ones. They do. I when say that, just I still got stuff wrong. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, but John, you are the player who can say, is that right? Can you check that? And you look at it, you run your finger along and, and say, miss yes. it, yes. And choose the wrong number. Yeah, still. Wrong. That's me. All right. So these are not these are not sort of codex compliant, up-to-date rules. These are just to get you going. Get you in stuff. the game. And then your booklet. I am very impressed with these, to be honest. Of for, for so often the pamphlet that you get in one of these, but it's a pamphlet with a bit of fluff, or it's rules written on the back of a postage stamp. Yeah, these have got some really, uh, you know, that you haven't got separate build instructions. They're all part of this. Just keep the one book, and at some point you move on from this book and you toss it away. Yeah, but it, they but put everything the in here. Purpose, you know, it's quality. Yeah, and it's got some scaffolded missions, and it'll even tell you, look, between mission three and four, it says, go away and build, build your outriders these. now, cool. and this is how you build them. Yeah, absolutely. Rapid engagement, and then, oh, you go up to, there's more missions. It goes up to mission five, and mission six, final confrontation. And that's why this booklet is potentially interesting to us, isn't it, Joe? Yes. I mean, we, we have... <laughs> We played. We haven't played the command edition, but we no. played the uh, the start. We played one. all four of the recruit missions. Recruit missions. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, in varying degrees of correctness. Yeah. We may have. <laughs> we, we may have slipped into the rules somewhere. So but we were looking. One of the reasons for getting this set, this set, was when we get the models painted, and Jay Bizzle is not a quick you painter. Mean when I get the yeah, yes, when, when you get, get the, the model, the Marines bits. painted. We're going to have a crack at Mission 5 and it's 6. It's cool. Yeah. It's the escalation and the collection. Absolutely. It's... Yeah. And for those of you that have been following along, now that is not a next week thing. Oh, no. No. But that is, that, that we will, we That's will do intention. this. That's the intention. If nothing else, it gives John a target to paint towards. To yeah. ignore. And to ignore, yeah. Absolutely. But it's got, it, it's just good, adding a few more rules to so people that have watched that series that we did. Yes. Said, okay, but this isn't the full rules. It's going to add a little bit more. So we're going to have a look at those. Mick, cool. This is, I think it's £62.50, something like that. The Necron Warrior box is 30 quid. Yeah. 
I'm pretty sure the Outrider box is 30 quid. So that's your, that's your money's worth there. So you, you didn't pay for extra. this. Yeah, and you, you mount your decal sheet. It's good that the starting box is It's not, it's not are... like astounding value compared to the other sets. I think the other sets are better value. Right. Uh, the recruit for your total beginners and a command for people who know they want the scenery and the full rules. Because you don't get a full rule book in here, you don't get the scenery, you don't get the play map. If you're serious about 9th edition and you want at least one of these armies, I think you are better off getting a command edition. It's it's yeah. 30 quid more, but you get a lot for a that lot 30 quid. In mm -hmm. terms of, like, if you don't have a copy of the rules, that's 30 quid anyway. There's four sprues of scenery, a playboard. You know, it's good. A proper playbook. But anyway, that was our look there you at go. 9th edition Elite. So it's a good one. See you Thank later. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed what you'd seen, why don't you come check us out on modelingforadvantage.co.uk. There's loads of different ways you can support the channel over there, including merch, that kind of stuff.